first I have to teach you one very important thing. When I come in, I don't say hello, I don't say good afternoon or good evening. I say assalam alaikum. Assalam, let's say it. Assalam alaikum. Okay, means uh, it, in my language it means how are you? And it just means that uh, how are you and may peace be upon you. Okay? Everything I do. And we put camels over there because we have a lot of camels in Pakistan. If you come, you have to ride a camel all up and down. A camel, a donkey and a horse. On the road. Okay? So you have to go and see Pakistan. Now, I have to give you a little background. Today, you all are very fortunate. Today is our Independence Day. 14th of August is when we got our independence. We became a little country all by ourselves. And uh, that on, in 1947, so we are just 55 years old. But see, first we were with India. We were with India and then we got separated and now this is Pakistan only. And you hear us a lot in the news because uh, we are right next to something called Afghanistan. And the people in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and this is China. So we are in the continent of Asia. I'll explain to you the flag. It's uh, green and white. And what do you see on the flag? You see a moon and you see a? Star. Pakistan, the meaning of Pakistan is uh, a pure, clean uh, place. Pakistan is a pure, clean place and every time we have the star, it uh, points up that way and uh, the, the crescent and we've got the star. And this shows us that uh, we are a peaceful country, we are a, a Pure, you wouldn't say pure, simple people, peaceful country, and loving people. That's the green and the white denotes, okay? So now, since everyone has got a, fla uh, a flag, let's do one thing. When I say Pakistan, you all say Zindabad, okay? Pakistan, Zindabad. Now, Zindabad means long live. Like you say, God bless America, long live America, or hope everything is nice in America. In Pakistan, they'll say, uh, long live Pakistan. So Pakistan, Zindabad. Say Zindabad, Zinda, Zindabad, okay? Now you got two words. What did you, uh, what was that? Assalamu alaikum, and Pakistan, Zindabad. Now all the little kids, like you go to school, you go to kindergarten, there they go to school and all, they learn English, but they all have to learn Arabic because their holy book is in Arabic and everyone reads it. We read it from this side and we go this side. It's opposite of English. In English, you start from this side and you go on the whole line. In Arabic, you start the opposite way. Start from this side and go on this way. And look at the uh, how it's written differently. No, it's interesting. It looks like double Dutch. No? And uh, I have a few things. And, and that's, that's our holy book. It's called the Quran. Okay? And all the little kids know how to read it. They may not understand it, but they know how to read it. It's a, it is a little rug, but it is a prayer rug. Uh, most of our prayer rugs are like that. Different colors, different styles. But... We always have some nice design, and this on my prayer rug is the Kaaba. We, we face towards this side, and when we are praying, we lay it on the floor. Now here I will pray from east to north and east, so in that corner. So all I'll do is put it on down and stand over there, cover my head up, and stand and say my prayers. I this is the first thing we as Muslims have to learn, and it says, I'll read it in Arabic and then I'll translate it for you. 
ला इलाहा इल्लल्ला मोहम्मदुर रसूल अल्लाह ओके इट सेज देर इज ओनली वन गॉड बट अल्लाह एंड मोहम्मद इज हिज प्रॉफिट रानी ब्राइड्स लुक दे ऑल ड्रेस्ड अप नो नाइ नॉर्मली दे वेयर रेड and this is a picture of my own daughter and son in law okay they got married 2 years ago in america but still they got married the traditional way and everything they wanted like back home so this is a picture of them and uh, i just brought it to show you all how a bride really looks and this is the wedding day and this is the way she looked the next day we have two functions one the wedding day and then the next day a grand reception so this is how she looked on the next day each of the beads have the name of allah written on it allah for us is god and this is one of our most uh, important uh, months and it's soon coming up now if you are back in pakistan or in india and or anywhere in the world and if you were a muslim you would have to observe the month of ramzan and ramadan is something very very strict you have to fast the whole month no eating no drinking for when the sun rises to the sun sets how many hours do you think that is who can tell 12 hours sometimes 12 sometimes 14 sometimes 10 sometimes 8 depending upon the season and we change our season because we are in lunar calendar we go according to the moon and every month it change 10 days so ramzan is uh, observed all over and in the end of ramzan even here i go and do my work but i'm still fasting even if it is hot i don't eat and drink and even though i'm dying of thirst i have to keep quiet and uh, eat and drink at sunset would you be able to do that you could try no no you would feel hot but okay because you're not small you had to be 10 12 years old before you do it and since she has a plain material but when she wraps it around her she look very very graceful and very very charming now just tuck it in over there and keep tucking all i do is take one part of it take it around her and make her put it over her shoulder put it over your shoulder okay and then this section over here you'll have to come here because you're on my wire see i'm not used to it i even entangled myself okay that's it i tuck this and i and i just pleat it up let's let them see it i just pleat it up and we tuck the whole thing in yeah 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 okay and okay look at this turn around you can you can try walking we give her a little pleat so that she has place to walk john told me to <laughs> isn't that nice that's beautiful she can put it around her now it doesn't matter whether you're a thin fat uh, plump anything it's still uh, you look graceful you still look beautiful oh yes and we both can stand up see mine is a green one hers is a red one and uh, we can both do a little Indian dance for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> just, just, just a little, just a little. Okay, par hoge, li, li hoge, banoge, nawab, khelooge, kudoge, banoge, harab. Okay, isn't that nice? Now, uh, what you need? Okay, now I'm going to make her sit down. Now, suppose she's a bride. Okay, I'm going to make her sit down. and she's supposed to be sitting down and naturally if she's got her own scarf over it but uh, we will we'll pretend that she's the bride and this is how i have to uh, the oh i forgot to tell you in pakistan men are separate in one room women are separate in the other room and only the end of the everything 
the, the bridegroom is allowed to come in to see the bride for the first time as a bride. So she's all covered, all her relatives are standing around her, and I'm going to ask you to just bear with me for a minute. See, she's all covered up. And then he comes, he comes here, and he puts the veil up, and he doesn't see her uh, directly. There is a big mirror here, and he sees her face for the first time in the mirror. And then he sees her. And actually, she's the most beautiful that day because she's all dressed up. She's wearing tons of jewelry and all, and it's very nice. So, this is very heavy, isn't it? Yeah. And you'll feel... <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is, it, it, the, the heavier, the better. Now, since she's all dressed up, I'm going to ask her to help me uh, serve you all. Don't eat, they're not supposed to be eating here, no? No, but you can take what you want and eat it when you leave the library, okay? So she's going to serve you the, uh, the sweets. Now, she's not a bride, she's just a, one of the guests.